Hello and welcome back to Fundamental STEM. This is video 10 in the video series, How to Draw Shapes in Scratch. And uh, if you want to find out um, where all these projects are, if you head over to the Scratch website and search up Fundamental STEM, you can see we have all our, all our videos, or not our videos, all our programs and projects um, all made there for public access. We'll put a link in the descriptions uh, to get you guys directly over there. So let's get into Scratch and get started on this one. So we've done all the more common shapes. We've done circles, triangles, squares, rectangles, and we've used them to make pictures like uh, the spirograph square and draw a house. And then we're gonna get into slightly more complex shapes. So today is gonna be, so it's a simple enough program to do, but it's a five-sided shape called a pentagon. So let's get rid of the cat and go into our library and grab the pencil. We scroll down and grab our pencil. There's our pencil. And let's get into costume and do the getting rid of the second costume. And let's make sure that we put the tip of the pencil onto the crosshairs. Okay, just like that. Now let's get our backdrop. And the backdrop that we're using is the wall. So we'll click on the wall. Clicking back on our pen because that's our sprite and we're going to code in our sprite. And this is going to be a very short piece of code because we're literally just going to, the whole purpose of this is really just to show, uh, and in the next couple of videos, it's just to show the differences between um, different amounts of si uh, sides that shapes can have. So this is a five sided shape. Uh, so let's start off with some pen blocks. So we need to click on our extensions, open up the pen extension and there's our pen blocks. Um, oh, actually, I should have pulled out uh, when the green flag clicked, actually, as the first block. When the green flag clicked, let's just zoom in on that. Now we can open up our pen blocks. And let's start by pen up. Lift the pen up. And let's um, set the pen color. So let's set the pen color to uh, zero. So that'll give us uh, red. And then we want to... Have a go to position so let's pull in the in the motion blocks now where do we want it to start so let's start say somewhere like here okay that'll be a good starting position so that, those coordinates are now in the x and y block so we can simply just pull that out there okay and then we can point in the direction of 90 degrees point in the direction of 90 degrees and, and now we're ready to actually start drawing. So what we need to do is put the pen down. So we click on the pen. Let's put the pen down here. There's our pen down. And this is very much the same as what we've done with our squares and triangles and so on. So what we need to do is we have a, a repeat block. So we're doing, uh, we're, we're doing a five-sided shape. So we're gonna repeat five times. What are we gonna repeat five times? Well, we're going to start off with a motion. Uh, so I'm going to stick a, a repeat 10 and a move 10 together, which would be a total of 100. I'm going to stick that in there. And I'm going to put in a rotation or a turning block as well. Turn a certain number of degrees. Now for a, a pentagon, uh, we're going to have to have a, a turning angle of 72 degrees. Okay, 72 degrees. And I'm going to stick another little weight block in there just for added effect. Okay, so it's just literally going to be, again, these, these aren't required. These are just for the aesthetics because the whole point of this code is not just uh, to draw um, a pentagon. It's also to watch the pen doing it, you know, so it's a kind of an animation type style as well. So I'm going to make, slow this down. So I'm going to make it weight, uh, say, 0.2. Okay. And I'm pretty sure we're good to go there. So I'm gonna give that a bit of a test. Okay. Now, did we not set the pen thickness? Because that's very thin. So let's go back into our pen and let's set the pen size a lot thicker than that. Okay, let's set the pen size to five. Let's try this one. Okay, so that's it, nice and simple. Uh, the next one we'll do is a hexagon which you guys can probably try out already. Then we'll do an octagon for the next video after that. And then I have a bit of a bit of a, a bigger project where I show you 
how we can use variables to draw these shapes and draw whatever kind of shape you want. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.